Hey guys and welcome back to another one and on this particular case a tutorial on how to turn our Android TV box into a file server or a media server and then be able to stream content uh, from this particular Android TV box to any device that we have, either a phone, a tablet or any other Android TV box that we have on our network. Now this can be very useful, especially for those that don't have a network attached storage. In my particular case I do use one to stream uh, all my content, but for those that don't, um, probably you will have uh, lying around a USB drive and if you use that USB drive with your Android TV box you'll be able to accomplish this. Of course you can go a bit crazier and get a bigger storage uh, solution but on this particular tutorial I'll be using this small uh, disk and I'm also using the Probox 2 Air uh, which is a machine that I did review recently and it has root access uh, which is necessary uh, to be able to have this media or file server. Now that being said guys Guys, let's go straight for the video, hope that you guys enjoy it and as always I'll see you in a few seconds. So here we are with the Provox 2 Air that I reviewed a while back and will be using in this particular tutorial because as I said before it has root access. Now moving to the first step in this tutorial uh, we have to turn our Android TV box on and make sure that it has root access. The second step we need to go to the Google Play Store and search for Samba Droid which is the app that will make this possible. Now there are other apps but this one is the one that I've been using uh, the most and it has a very simple interface and easy to use. Now once we have the app installed we can open it and configure the way that we want or the way that we need. In my particular case the only change that I will be doing is to change the path of the folder that I want to share with the network from the internal memory to my external USB drive which is where I want to place the files that will be available on my network. Now have in mind that the free version of this app has some limitations so if we need more features we will need to upgrade. Nonetheless for this type of usage the free version is more than enough. And back to the topic, once we finish configuring the app my USB drive will be available on my network and can be accessed from any computer within the network of course. Now on the screen you guys can see my Mac getting access to the USB USB drive on the box, creating folders, transferring movies or any other type of files and of course I can do exactly the same on a Windows machine and also on any other Android TV box or Android device and this will be very useful if we want to centralize our Kodi media files in one place of the network of course and any other device will be able to stream from it. As I said this will not replace a NAS because the NAS itself as much more features but will be very useful. And for those of you that want to grab content from that Android TV box with the external USB drive to another device on the network with Kodi all you need to do now is to search for it inside Kodi on the Windows Network File System and that is it. You now have a centralized media server on an Android TV box. And that is it regarding this video tutorial on how to turn your Android TV box into a file or media server. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.